A new book entitled Socialist Cowboy, The Politics of Peter Cormos was unveiled recently at the Public Library in Welland. Uh, Peter is a very uh, fascinating political character. For someone who spent most of his 23 years at Queen's Park on the back bench, he has a hot, he has a profile that is much higher than your average cabinet minister, and he's a larger-than-life sort of political figure. So it was very interesting to write a book about Peter. Uh, people have lots of stories about Peter, and he's very quotable. I met Peter while I was in high school. I worked on some of his campaigns. I worked as an intern as, in his constituency office while I was an undergrad student at Brock and then while I was pursuing my graduate studies I was a part-time employee. With your personal history with Peter, how did that help you actually write this book? Well, I think sort of having a quasi-insider status sort of gets you to talk to certain people who may not want to talk to you otherwise. It also gives you a different perspective on how different events unfold. And of course, Peter was always involved in some sort of controversy, uh, a political controversy, that is. And I think it sort of gives you more context for explaining uh, him as a politician and as a political figure. You actually have titled your book Socialist Cowboy. How did you come up with this uh, title for your book? Well, Socialist Cowboy, the title is designed to get at the paradox of Peter Cormos. On one hand, he's seen as like a, a, a loner sort of political maverick who never backs down. But on the other side, uh, you know, unlike what we'd consider a cowboy, he, his, his political approach was deeply infused with really socialist or left-wing values. And, and those two things are a very rare combination in Canadian politics. For someone who's going to be reading your book, what can they expect? Well, the book really starts in October of 1968 when Peter leads a student strike at Eastdale Secondary School here in Welland. Um, and it really charts his entire political history and activist history uh, right up until his death. And where can people find your book? Uh, the book is available in a number of local bookstores, independent bookstores in uh, Welland. Uh, it's available at Kohl's. It's available at the Brock uh, Bookstore. And you can order it online directly from the publisher, which is Fernwood. Larry, what's very interesting is that the royalties that are received from this book are not going to yourself. Where are they going? All of the royalties for Socialist Cowboy are going to the Peter Cormos Memorial Bursary, which is established for labor study students at Brock University. Larry will present his book again on Friday, September the 19th at the Niagara Artist Center in downtown St. Catharines. In Welland reporting for The Source, I'm Lori Taraba.